Amanda has experienced the power of those with disabilities in changing the lives of others. In sixth grade, I signed up for a class called Peer Helping to work with students who had intellectual disabilities. While I had always seen these students around school, I had no real grasp as to what that meant or what they would be like. I was instantly hooked and I loved it. I was able to spend an entire class period with students who were always happy and who never judged me. Students who didn't care what I looked like or make fun of me if I did something weird. Junior high can be tough, and in a sense, peer helping had become my escape. The experience was so impactful that I sought out a similar program in high school. During this time, I began to see people with disabilities in a new light. It was no longer just a fun way to spend a class period, but something I truly cared about. I'll never forget Robert, who constantly quoted my favorite TV shows, David, who could make me smile no matter how hard my calculus exam was, or Andy, though unable to speak, shared my love for basketball, spending hours on YouTube watching Michael Jordan highlights. This was more than just an interest. I had developed a passion, a passion I pursued in college as I served for three years on the executive board of a service day called Fun Day which pairs college students and people with intellectual disabilities for one special day. I also participated in Best Buddies and was matched with an amazing 50-year-old woman named Sharon who has cerebral palsy. Sharon came into my life at a vital point. Her friendship taught me the significance of being a loyal and dependable friend. Sharon is really the person who inspired me to carry on this passion. Shortly after graduating college, I began working for Special Olympics. When people hear Special Olympics, they respond, oh, that's so nice, or oh, cool, when are the Special Olympics? Well, Special Olympics is not just an event or a sporting organization. It is a movement, a movement to change the way we view people with intellectual disabilities, fostering respect, dignity, and advocacy. Special Olympics in Miami-Dade County serves over 3,800 people with intellectual disabilities, providing year-round sports training in competition in 17 different sports at no cost to our athletes or their families. Special Olympics fills a crucial gap in the lives of so many people with intellectual disabilities. In addition to sports, we offer leadership opportunities, medical resources, social interactions. We promote people-first language in a campaign to spread the word to end the usage of the word retarded, which for me to say out loud right now is like I just screamed a swear word. Recently, Special Olympics has started a program called Project Unify, an initiative that encourages inclusion, students with and without disabilities interacting in schools by forming clubs and playing on the same sports teams. Special Olympics believes that through sports, young people can make a difference in friendships, schools, and communities. My story illustrates the power and success of Project Unify. My early introduction to inclusion has made me a lifelong advocate. Anyone listening, whether or not you have a disability, you can participate in Special Olympics. It is so easy to get involved. Volunteer at one of our 50 local competitions. Imagine doing volunteer work where you get to put medals on our athletes during an award ceremony. Start a club at your school. Play sports alongside our athletes through unified sports, or even become a coach. I might not have an intellectual disability, but I have learned so much from people who do. Special Olympics has taught me that we shouldn't feel bad for people with disabilities. We should accept and acknowledge what they can do, their abilities. And now I have the pleasure of introducing Andy Miares, a Special Olympics International Global Messenger.
Special Olympics taught me through sports, courage, dedication, and determination. I earned I earned I I earned that I can set set out myself to do. Yes, I can. Special Olympics is my life. You will never... <laughs> you will never fully understand the power of Special Olympics until you meet one of our athletes or attend a competition. It's the expression of joy on an athlete's face as they step on the podium to receive their first place medal. It's the passionate coaches who volunteer hours of their lives to mentor and train our athletes. It's learning that last year, one of our athletes ran the Miami Half Marathon, and another wrote a book called Living Life with Autism, accomplishments I could never achieve in a lifetime. And to think people with intellectual disabilities did this, it's amazing. The bravery and courage our athletes exhibit every time they step on a field, dive into the water, or cross a finish line opens our eyes to the similarities we all share. No matter who we are or how we were born, we all have our own hopes, obstacles, and desires. Yes, they are special, but so are you. Thank you.